Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. But what does it really mean? Hey guys, I'm Jeremy. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. Today I want to unfold Philippians 4.13, talk about what it means, and then talk about how we live that out. Now, context is king. Going back to verse 11, Philippians chapter 4, this is what Paul writes. He says, not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. He goes on in verse 12 and says, I know how to be brought low. I know how to abound in any and every circumstance. I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. And then verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. What's the context? It's contentment. Paul's talking about the fact that he can be content despite his circumstances. The question we have to ask ourselves is how do we do it? How can we live a life like Paul? where we say, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I can be content whatever the circumstance. Uh, three things, number one, just focus on thanking God. I find the more that we thank God for what we have, the more we grow in our contentment. Thank God for your relationship with Jesus. Thank God for your spouse, for your kids, your parents, for, for the house, the car, the apartment, uh, the blanket, the pillow that you get to sleep with. Uh, thank God for the little things that, that you have food. And, and to take it a step further, thank God when other people get the thing that you want. You know, they get the new car, they, they get the new house, whatever it is. What this will help us do is focus on what we have and not what we don't have. So spend time simply thanking God for blessing you and others with the things that he's gifted you with. Uh, second of all is pray for contentment. Just pray that God would give you a content heart. Pray that God would allow you to focus on being somebody that doesn't need to have other stuff, that doesn't focus on getting, but being a, a person that's satisfied with what you have. And then thirdly, just focus on generosity. It's amazing how blessed we are when we give. In fact, the proverb says, he who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. And I believe that this is with word, with deed, with actions, with attitudes, with, with finances, that when we refresh other people, we ourselves are refreshed. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. What's the context? It's contentment. How do we grow in contentment? Three things. Focus on thanking God for what you have. Focus on asking God for contentment. And focus on being generous and watch what God does. Love you guys. Have a great rest of the day.